G'day everyone, we are down at Jayco Canberra and I'm here with Alex, one of the sales staff here and we're going to walk through this 2024 Jayco Outback Swamp. I think we've got the spec sheet somewhere, we'll go through the lengths and the weights. So we've got the travel length is 5.4 metres. What's that? So that's, so that's from... It's all packed up, you're connected to the car. You got 5.4. And open length is 6.5. So when you there walk you up to the caravan park, they ask you what your length is. Yeah, tell them 6.5. The weights, what are the weights? Empty, she's 1.3 ton. And then the tow ball weight, 130 kilos. Weights and lengths covered. We start on the outside here. So we've got the standard points here. What do we got? 10 amps appliance, external. And then you got the 12 volt appliance running off the battery and then plugged in power. Yep. The old picnic table. Now these are standard, are they? Yeah. Standard inclusion nowadays. Back so, when I got one, it was it was an add-on. Uh, instead of having to use the lock, now uh, you just use your, your fingers. Quick and easy. Uh, light on the outside. Brightest light in the world. Yeah. So good at night when you're sitting around camp. Tires and wheels. 15-inch rims. All-terrain tires. And so these, they don't have a, an awning as standard. I haven't fitted one on this model, but you can get a bag awning, which is this tarp, you pole it, you rope it, you peg it. Or you can get the Fiamma, which is a wind out awning, which is a lot easier. Yeah. Quick and easy setup. What do most people opt for with that? Well, it depends. Like if you, if you get a bag awning, you can have an annex. Oh, if true. You have the Fiamma, it's just a quick, easy top awning. Also, these are obviously holding up the roof as the Correct. winder down here. This little Velcro, that would normally go out and around, yeah. doesn't it? It's a cover. Just goes there. Protect, the, Correct, yeah. protect from the from the weather. And, and then they got cover the it. new zippers on the 2024 models. So quick oh, yeah. and easy for repairs. If anything goes wrong on the front side, you don't have one full 10 section. Oh. Um, you can just take off the back. And that's your slack line when you're winding up the roof. When it's straight and that taut, then you know to stop winding the roof up. What else? Step, how's that step work? That looks different to what I've seen. Yeah, so lift and up and slide. Yeah, and nice. You've got a little handbrake here, so when you're traveling, it won't Oh, it. locks the actual yep. step in place. Yep. Behind the door here, we've got storage. Now you get your jack. There's a jack winder connected to the wall. There's your stabilizer winder. Uh, there's your wheel brace to change the tires. That, that looks like there's a door yeah. on the inside to come into here as well. Correct. Oh, yeah. The tunnels that go all the way through are the go. Some of these compartments can be blocked off in certain vans. That's the, the latch style, which is cool. Yeah, there she goes. If you want, you can get a little drill with a 19 mil socket. Yep. Just drill the leg down. Yep, so I do. We've got a bayonet. Uh, external cooking. Yeah. So get the bayonet hose and have your picnic table out here and cook it on your Weber, Ziggy, BBQ. Is that, that's all connected to the main gas yeah. boiler? Walk around. So this is one of the big changes, is yeah. it? This front end, it like, is, yeah. it's pretty good. You had the whole mold before. <laughs> yep. Uh, now they've given you a nice, nice tool box at the front. Yep. Um, we'll get so you this click these buttons and it'll shoot right up. Yeah, gas struts. <laughs> Look at that, it's a heap Plenty of storage. Of storage. <laughs> and checker plating across the whole front end. Yeah. And when you're out back or on dirt roads, the gravel spray. What we experienced when we did a long trip around Queensland was the whole front of the van gets peppered. Two gas bottles, they've optioned for two, you usually get the one. Okay. Uh, now they're 8.3 filler uppers, they're not swap and goes. Single, Single jerry holder yeah. for water only. Can you just tap on the A-frame? That's another awesome thing to have. So that's connected to a pump. Correct, yeah. So there's a 12 yeah. volt pump. I've optioned to that. for a pump with this model. Um, usually it's just a main pressure valve. If you get a hot water system or you fit a pump, uh, then that will have pressure. Yeah. Recommend the upgrade for a pump because you'll use that tap so often when camping. Wash yeah. your hands when you're outside cooking, whatever. What do we got in the drawbar here with the electrical? Uh, so they now come with a 12 pin plug and an Anderson. Anderson's going directly to the fridge. So for driving, for driving the power of the yeah. fridge while you're driving. Uh, if you get a DC DC charger, you'll get a red Anderson. Uh, chains, standard on all models. Toss them over when you're connecting it to the car. Tow ball, pretty standard. You can get a DO35 if you want, which is more of an off-road 360 movement. Backside. TV antenna. 
in. So some caravan parks actually give you reception to tune into their satellite. So this is cool, you got a little Anderson plug here for a little portable solar blanket outside. Yep. Uh, it says unregulated because you've already got a regulator inside. Okay. You just need the panel itself. Yep. Yeah. It's plug and play. Yeah, okay. Is there panels on the roof as well? Or it's not on this model, but this you, model. Can, you can yeah. get a 200 watt solar panel. There's your 80 litre water tank. Uh, now I've optioned for two. There's one in front of the axle and another one rear of the axle. Uh, that's to empty the tank. Just twist that green knob. This is your water outlet where you connect your grey water hose to. Sink comes out of there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Another option which I've optioned for is an external shower and a hot water system. So you have nice hot showers outside. Is the shower tent included? That, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, there's a it's shower tent inside, put yeah. out here. We've now got a main pressure fill. So instead, before you had to shove the hose down the hole yes. into the tank, and it was like you're, you're fighting the water pressure. Yeah. Now you'd literally just connect it to either uh, the front tank, rear tank, and it just fills it up. And then you got mains, mains pressure. So like if you go to a caravan park, you want to use their hose, their water. Yeah. Really just connect it. Yeah. And uh, bypasses the tank and goes straight to your sink, straight yeah. to your front tap. That's really cool. Our one, we have a hole, jam the hose in it, turn the tap on, wait till it spews out, and then you know you're full. This little T intersection here, what it is, it's where you get the water from at the taps. Yep. It's facing the rear tank. So you turn the tap on, you'll get it out of the rear tank. This one here, when you face it in the middle, it's getting water out of both tanks at the same time. Ah. And you uh, run it forward and you're running off the front tank. Uh, Back of the van. The new smoked LED rear lights. I haven't seen that on a, on the Jayco's before. That's cool. Very good. And then power, what are those two plugs at the back? So is this that... one here is where you go to a caravan park, you use your 15 amp lead. So yep. your third prong is going to be bigger, bigger than a regular house socket. What's the... this side? Is that just fuse thingy? Yeah, and okay. that's your switchboard. Yeah. yeah. Under here, so there used to be wooden floorboards. Yes, I remember uh, that. Now it's like a fiberglass composite sandwich. Yep. Uh, so it's more weatherproof, sleeker, drier. Yeah, neat as like, so it was raw timber, like, like ply in the yeah. past, wasn't it? Dunk. So that winds up the roof. We can go inside if you want, I'll tell you more about it. Yeah, let's go inside. biggest thing about these types of vans, because the beds are all on the outside, that means the rest of the body is just living area. So kitchen space, couches, the insides are huge. Door handle, just push button, little latch there. That will hook on here. Ooh. After you. Damn, they are so big. Like couches everywhere. Especially this club lounge because you have dinner and then you can yeah come and lounge here. Now got uh, USBs and a 10 amp appliance board. So yeah. That's your battery and that's your plugged in power. Two USB ports is cool. And this is just your hot water system showing you the degrees of the water right now. It yep. can get up to 49 degrees which is like your house really. Um, yeah and that that changes so you turn the hot water on the hot water system will turn on that will climb won't it? Yeah. So, whatever temperature it's set to. But while we're on electronics, what else? We've got aircon. Aircon, yep. So that's another option that I've optioned for here. So you got snowflake is cold, uh, teardrops is evaporative, that just vents, uh, sun's hot, and then A will automatically turn on when it gets below your said degrees. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see that's cool, little night light type thing yeah. as well. Uh, fridge, uh, now it's a three-way fridge. Uh, it is set on automatic, so it will automatically jump over to what you got plugged in or turned on. To get it over to manual if you want, if you want to manually power it, you hold mode and set at the same time. And it jumps it over to MES. MES. Now you can power it. 240, the Anderson, your car, and gas. Yep. Okay, so traveling, you'd put it on DC. Yep. And then, yeah, mostly gas unless if you're off grid or out of caravan park, use the power. Yeah, it's lock on the side there. Have a look. All the instructions are always down the bottom of the fridges and how to, how to work it. Yep, little freezer. Cheeky little freezer. Yeah, nice. So in here. So we've got a, there's a, an app. What's the app for? Apps controlling so or? So app will allow you to see your battery charge, your water tank levels, your solar input if you've got solar. Oh, right. Just all the stats of your van. Just gonna quickly connect 
Alex is fine. Teddy's fan. So this is your Bluetooth system here. On the side here, there's a little button. You can barely see it, barely feel it. And you'll get a green flashing light. There you go. Uh, yep. That will come up with this. You then press scan. We'll come up with the number now that it's searching for Bluetooth. In a couple seconds, that will go blue. Oh yeah, battery there we go. charging. Fully charged battery, no water in the tanks. Um, you can fiddle with the lights. So this number one fiddles with the <laughs> lights on your roof. <laughs> Two and three we don't have, so don't worry about. Yeah. Um, the teardrops, the pump. Yep. So water that's pump. like turning the water pump off. And the H is turning the hot water system off. I press that, that will die down. Uh, if you had a solar panel, it'll tell you how much amps you're drawing. Oh yeah. Even outputs on what you're using inside the van. And then that there is your isolator switch. So if I press that, I put the battery to sleep. It's the same thing as this. Yeah, right. If you get a lithium battery, you get a nice fireproof box. Is that what that is? Yeah, That's what, what that is. So is there any a few spare ports on that? Like if you know a little bit about 12 volt, you can, yeah, there is a few spares, so you can add accessories if you wanted to. Yeah, solar panels, whatnot. Sorry, just on the battery, what's what's this one include and what's standard in these? So, so they're standard with a 100 amp lead acid battery. Yeah, 100 amp. Um, but I've optioned for a 100 amp lithium battery. Yeah. yeah. So lithiums, they charge quicker, you get more life out of it, and they're lighter. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So if you can afford it when you're ordering one of these, I would have recommend the lithium. Yeah. AGM is still good, but the, just the capacity and the way you can draw them down on the with the lithiums is just insane. Yeah. Really good. I agree. On the roof, these lights. So they yeah. go blue. Yeah. So if you're ever out in the outback and there's flies and bugs and mosquitoes and whatnot, they don't fly around the blue light. Uh, you got fans, which you now they're all standard in in camper trailers. Nice 12 volt fan, so you can be off grid and. Just stay cool. Fan and light in one. Yeah. Plugs into the side of the light. Yep. So that doesn't need to be, the light doesn't need to be on to run that thing. No. Nah. No. Nah. Yeah. Just grabbing straight power from there. You can plug it up like this, or you can face yourself while you're in bed and stay cool. Uh, this is your pop up shower tent. So when you have that external shower. You want to show us how good you are at opening and closing? You no. <laughs> Not right now. Know. Maybe we'll do it at the end. I'm I pro. Should... I'm actually pro. Oh, I can <laughs> I do it. I think you should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, chop and serve. You chop it and you serve it. <laughs> uh, this is your wet wipe counter. So anything wet you put in the sink, you just put it in here. Cutlery tray. Bottom one. That's Store. your 12 volt pump. Oh yeah. So that's what you should definitely option for. Very, very handy those things. A little bit of storage there. You put a few bits and pieces in there, like your cleaning products or something. Yeah. And then in this one, you'd have a whole cupboard if you'd... Um... Oh yeah, hot water system. Yeah. Taking that out. That's a little bit of storage there. And then there's a fair bit down there there's too. There's a wheel arch there as well. So yeah, yeah. So on these new 2024 models, they got this new... On, on the bearings wheels here. Oh yeah. They just run in on the track and it wasn't very... Yeah, yeah. Smooth, but now they're a lot smoother. So that's yeah, yeah right. So the rail rolls on yeah. on bearings all the way. Yeah, and you can see those. This is just like a regular barbecue. You got your clicker. Yep. Twist. Gas burner. Gas burner. Get all these pumping. No electric one anymore. Yeah. I think that's a good move. The used one of these used to be electric. Correct. Yeah. What's underneath there? Is that a, that's the grill, it's a is it? Cheeky little grill. Yep. Do your toast on there. Yep, a grilled cheese sandwiches. Standard microwave. A little slim cupboard. Slim little pantry. This is mainly just to get your TV reception. So there's a 12 volt socket and your aerial port. So that aerial port would work if you're connected at the caravan park. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Or you have a portable one of your own or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you just run it through here. Um, some people get Down mounts the for a TV. Yeah. Or they just rest it up on the top or here. Sit or... it up there. Yeah. With our one, we just sit it on top of the bench. Yeah, it's the best way to do it. Yeah, and then it's portable. It's not there permanently. You can put it outside if you want to, all that sort of thing. Big cupboard. Massive cupboard. Mirror. Some hanging space hanging. at the top. Yeah, there's a little safety clip. Oh yeah, what's that? Do. So, and when you move this oh, down. Oh, yeah, right. 
I didn't even think of that. The whole cupboard folds down. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, obviously this whole roof comes down to this height, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. There's another little one. Did we look Did in that? Cupboard? Another little cupboard, storage. For your shoes, I guess. Yeah, it could be shoes. Oh, you'll find something to put in there, trust me. <laughs> yeah. Dinette. Yeah. So you can actually move it left and right if you want. Or you can actually take this off. So you just pinch the leg, unclip it off the bar. You can actually put, there's little lips on the bottom here, which you can then make this a bed. Ah. Oh wow, the actual cushions turn it into, yeah, right. <laughs> that was actually pretty quick. After you've so, done it a hundred times, you're yeah. a bit of a... <laughs> I was gonna say, well done. So the kids could sleep there or something like that. Yeah, yeah a little a Small bed. adult. Uh, Storage underneath these. Yep. Drawers, they come with sheets. Oh yeah. So that's a big drawer. That's pretty full, like full, not full length, but it's it's deep. So. And that one's just narrower, but still long. And when you get into a swan, you get this cupboard here. So the eagle, the lark and all that, they all miss out on this. Are these drawers or? This one's a little cupboard. And oh. you got two little drawers here. Yeah, that's awesome. That's oh. actually a lot of bench space too. It's another thing in vans that you look out for when you're looking to buy one is how much, where can you prepare your food and that sort of thing. Yeah. Like that's, that's large in caravan world, all of that. <laughs> it's, it really is. Um, what about these windows? So there's zips everywhere. Zips. Like, so yeah, you can really open it up. You end up just rolling it inwards. One, two, Three, four on the main section. Very breezy, and then there's all the ends. Yeah. So in hot summer, open it fully up. Yeah. Let so the breeze come through in the late afternoon, and then hopefully cool it down as much as possible. Yep. Uh, so you get a little blinder, little fly screen, so you can still get more airflow. Yeah. A little skylight which you can lock in. Yeah, lock it in for travel. Yeah, make sure you put it above the button. So this has still got a hand pump. That's yep. So So if you did an option for the 12 volt pump, you'd get the little hand pump here, which you'd, yep. you'd have to work for your water. That's that little socket we opened up earlier that yep. goes into the boot. So that's kind of cool for storage as well. And you can option for, see how you got this lip that wraps around? Oh yeah. You can option for a bed converter to make oh. this another bed. Bloody hell. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can have so many beds in there. All right, well, that's it. If you're in Canberra, in the region, come down to see the team at Jayco Canberra. See Alex, see Adam. Don't forget there's a parts team here, so they've got accessories and all that kind of thing. And they've got a huge maintenance department as well. Catch ya, bye. Bye. Who's this guy? <laughs> now it's even slipperier. God damn it. <laughs> it was a rag. Here's a towel. Oh, there's a thousand towels. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah, right. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, a lot of talking coming up. Uh, <coughs> all right, we'll start around the corner here. I'll start that again. There we go, that's better. Got it. got it all.